Hi, my name is Maliona. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about whether your job can be a deal breaker. Now, what you do doesn't define who you are, but it certainly tells people a little bit more about you. So can your job be a deal breaker? It depends on maybe three things. Number one is how much you earn. So this doesn't matter to everyone, but it also depends on where you're coming from and your, your partner's background. So maybe they grew up um, poor and you know they had trouble putting food on the table or maybe they've dated other partners with a gambling addiction or where the partner was in highly in debt they might look for a person who's financially stable so if your finances aren't aren't in order it might be a deal breaker for them so check in are your finances secure i mean it sometimes it's not even about how much you make it's just whether or not you can put a steady income on the table number two does your job have status? So sometimes it doesn't even matter how much you earn. It matters what title you have. So for example, you might be a musician and musicians can range from earning, you know, a few hundred or to nothing uh, a month to, you know, you've tens of thousands and millions and millions, but maybe your partner only values the status. If you, your job, if you had a job that didn't have status, but paid really well, for example, like um, a garbage truck operator, then it might be a deal breaker for them. Again, it really depends on the person. These aren't my opinions, and I'm just saying that it depends on the person what status, whether job status is of value to them. So even for me, I don't really care what my husband does as long as one, he's happy, and two, it, what he does aligns with my own ethics, which brings me back to the third third point. It, of whether your job is a deal breaker or not. The third point is, is your job ethical? So for some reason, for not for some reason, but for me, I would never date someone who um, was in the, who worked in the gaming and entertainment industry, well gaming, like gambling industry. And number two, the big one would be, I would never date someone who was involved in animal testing. So um, breeding puppies that are going to these labs, anyone who worked in, in testing on animals, I could never, ever, ever date. That would be a huge deal breaker for me because it doesn't align with my ethics. If you have a job that doesn't align with other people's values, it might be a huge, huge uh, deal breaker. But these are some of the things that you'll get to know on the first date. So um, what you do for a living comes up you know, within the first 10, 20 minutes of meeting each other. So if your job is deal breaker, you're, you're, the person you're dating will probably tell you. So I hope you found this one helpful. Let me know if you have a job that might be a deal breaker or a job where you think might be a deal breaker. And as always, if you like this channel, please subscribe and like. Uh, I'm not sure if I told you, but I mentioned it on Instagram. Last night, a few nights ago, I actually was going to retire this channel because I thought 2,000 subscribers, what am I going to do with it? I don't have time to create content anymore. And then I received a really nice email from somebody just saying, hey, I'm also dating in my 30s and really resonated with your content. Um, please keep going. So comments like that, your likes and subscribe is what keeps this channel going. So if you like what you see, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.